Welcome back, freshwater fishing novices and new viewers. This week, what the heck is a fall fish? Let's start with a story. First time I caught a fall fish, I had my ultralight gear. I think I had a inline spinner on. Anyway, I'm out there fishing. I'm winding it in. All of a sudden, I get a hit. Bang! Set the hook. Start reeling it in. My rod's bent right over. Wee! I reel it in. I get that fish. What in the heck? What the heck is this fish? I've never seen this fish before. It's not a trout. Carlton's fishing down the stream a little bit. He's like, that's a fall fish. I caught that thing. A fall fish is, what is it? One, it's the it's North America's largest minnow. I go, how do I unhook this thing? He goes, you just grab it like a trout, kind of like that, just below where the gills are, and unhook it. He goes, you don't have to lip it or anything like that. You can if you want, but you can just grab it like this. So I grab this fish, and I'm going to unhook him, and all of a sudden, burp. Burp, burp. He just starts burping. I'm like, what in the hell is that? I unhooked him and I put him back as soon as I could. I was like so freaked out by the burp. I didn't know what the heck it was. So if you catch these guys, get ready for that burping. It's going to surprise you. It caught me way off guard. So why is this fish cool aside of being the largest North American minnow and that whole burping thing? You're going to catch this fish around where you're going to catch trout in like a smaller to mid-sized stream. Typically, they're about four to nine inches. Some can get as big as like 20 inches. What's the world record? Uh, or the, at the least a record for the U.S. The record fall fish for the U.S. was caught in New York by Jonathan McNamara in 2009. And it was a three pound, nine ounce fall fish. Friggin' crazy. Must have been. Dude, here's a fun fact about fall fish that you probably didn't know. Before the introduction of uh, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, and brown trout, the fall fish was considered the apex predator of the creek or stream, maybe even the river. Nuts, right? A big minnow is an apex predator? It's got to be fun to catch, right? It is. It, it's fun to catch. So here's some cool stuff about where you can find these fish. Uh, I've heard you can find them at the uh, bottom of waterfalls where all that gravel is and stuff like that. I don't typically find them there. I was in this small stream. I didn't notice it until, I didn't know what the heck I was looking at. You know, I've done that little stream, let's say at least 10 times. And every time I'm like, what is that right there? The male fall fish uh, builds its nest. Now the nest that he builds, it's not like a bass. So what the fall fish does, the male fall fish will pick up pebbles and he'll make these pyramid humps in the water. And then upstream where the water's flowing into the rocks is where the female and the male will lay the eggs and fertilize the eggs. And then the stream will push the eggs into the rocks, uh, providing oxygen coming down the creek to those little fertilized eggs. And it will also push like, uh, like little small like plankton and stuff like that to those uh, little baby fishes so they can get bigger. And the other cool fact is that other minnows, aside of fall fish, will use those piles for uh, fertilization and growing their young. So if you're in a small creek or stream and it's really clear and rocky and you see those pebbles, now you know that that's where fall fish and minnows are breeding or procreating, making more babies. So I thought that was a pretty cool fact and I really didn't know what those piles were until I did some research. It's pretty neat. I don't know, I thought it was neat. That's uh, also why uh, fall fish typically prefer creeks and streams with uh, rocky bottoms because they use those rocks and pebbles to build those really cool nests. So that's just some fun facts this week about fall fish. Just another fish you might catch if you're in North America and you'd be like, what the heck is this? This isn't a trout. This isn't a bass. It's not a crappie. It's not any of the other fish I've heard about. The fall fish. Thanks for watching this week. If you learned something, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit that bell notification. Uh, click it, make it turn from red to gray. You'll be notified of future videos, hopefully teaching you a little bit more about freshwater fish, fishing, maybe going fishing. If you have any questions about fish or fishing, maybe something that you haven't seen a video on that you would like to see a video about, leave it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching the Freshwater Fishing Novice YouTube channel. It's been Freshwater Fishing Novice Friday. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Catch you next week.